And you're here because... I'm here to protect myself, Ross. I'm going to fight for my children. I'm not going to let you take them from me. I'm going to fight you with every, everything I've got. Before you do anything, you should check your messages. Because there's one from me suggesting that we talk about everything. Well, you look tired. Yeah, why don't you go take a rest and uh, let us take over? No, yeah. no, 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 no. I, I told Dinah I would be here. She's, she's just too weak. What are you accusing me of, Bill? I heard what happened yesterday. Why don't you just answer the question? No, Dinah, I think I'm the one who wants answers, okay? And we can start with Mom's blood pressure medicine. Did you take any more of them? I, are, are you trying to play some sort of insane game of, of Russian roulette with your own health just so that you can keep your own husband tied? Keep your voice down. I gave you all the blood pressure when you took them from me at the hospital, remember? When I said I was dying to marry Hart, I didn't mean it literally. Yeah, are, you, are you sure you didn't just hide a few of them yes, somewhere? Yes, I'm Dinah? sure I didn't hide. You know what? You can check the room. It's fine with me. I don't even have aspirin in here. Well, you know, I may have to do that, Don. I just might have to do that. Because if you're going to risk your own life again just to keep your husband, then I'm, I'm going to have to go tell Hart the truth. Bill, there's no way I'm going to die now. No way. Not when I have Hart right where he belongs. Right by my side. Here's your apple cider. Thank you. You might want to let that breathe for a while. That's a very good year. 1998. What's so good about it? Oh, now, now, none of that. This is... It's Halloween. It's the night to be optimistic. Where's that written? Nowhere. I just made it up. Yes. <clears throat> there are some things we have to be thankful for this year. Yeah, we both had worse, haven't we? We have a lot to be thankful for, I guess. I'm just not ready to look at the world through rose-colored glasses yet, I thought. So, have you thought any more about Terry? Oh, thanks, but no thanks. Why not? Well, I, I'm just gonna pass, that's all. But, but thank you for trying to set me up. Well, what's wrong with Terry? Uh, something about a woman that's carrying a gun just, just kind of makes me nervous. You're such a sexist. <laughs> MCP all the way. <laughs> oink, oink. Hey, you're actually laughing. Hallelujah, I've been pulling my A-list material out all night long and not even a smile, nothing. I mean, it's not exactly a toothpaste grin, but I'll take what I can get. Look, I know it's rough on you. But you have to trust me, there will come a time when you'll forget all about heart. I hope so. No, well, you know, I pray that I do, but I'm also dreading that. I'm dreading the day that Hart is no more to me than someone I just used to know. Because that's really sad. Well, maybe. <clears throat> just maybe. We won't have to come to that. What is that, Mama? I'm not sure, honey. Some kind of coin. Mm. Anybody can see it's a coin. Is it from another country? Or maybe Stop. from outer space? Shane. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Shane, I don't know. <laughs> What? It was just a Halloween joke. <laughs> yeah, well, it seems like someone's trying to pull a prank of their own on us. Is that? Yeah. The coin that Annie left us in her will? It followed me from your house to here. <laughs> What are you talking about? What I'm talking about is that no one brought it here. It just appeared. Oh, come on. Oh, spooky. I'm sure there's a logical explanation as to how it ended up here. Yeah, there sure is. If you believe a dead woman can go trick-or-treating. think Annie is haunting us, that she's she's uh, visiting us from the other side, driving us crazy with some coin trick here? Mm -hmm. Vicky thinks the same thing. What, is there some Twilight Zone marathon I don't know about today? <laughs> I think you're just a little heavy into the Halloween spirit, honey. Philip! Oh, you know what? I can think of an obvious way that it could have gotten over here. Oh, you can, can you? Mm -hmm. Detective Spalding. 
Lizzie has a coin collection. Oh. Remember, my father started it for him. I bet that's what happened. Mm -hmm. I bet she found it over there, and she brought it over here to show the kids. Can I? Yeah. Honey, Lizzie, here. See this coin? Did you find this over at the house and bring it over here? Me? Mm-hmm. No, Daddy, I never saw that coin. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Okay, then this for my obvious explanation. Okay, well, you know, Mara, why don't you take all the kids out to the garden shed? Because there's a big surprise for everyone out there. <laughs> okay. Okay, have fun, be careful. I am not going to let this party be ruined by a bad memory. <laughs> and I don't give a damn about some lousy coin. I don't think anyone should have to live their life full of fear. I think in order to really live, you have to be able to jump on the roller coaster and ride all the way with your hands high in the air. Heads, we all live happily ever after. And tails, we all live even more happily ever after because the only curse on this house is about to be buried six feet under. <laughs> Is everything suitable, Mr. Spaulding? Suitable? According to your wishes? Yes, yes. Uh, everything is exactly the way I wanted it. And you're certain no one else will be arriving? Yes, I'm certain. Everyone who loved Annie is here right now. White roses, Annie. Your favorite. Well, it looks like it's just you and me. The way it was meant to be. I have another surprise for you. Dress up just for me? Oh, I always dress for you, Jesse. Always. I cannot wait to move in together with you. We don't have to go home alone anymore. Yeah, our own place. You know, there's a lot of stuff we gotta start working out here. I mean, we gotta set up the loft like I, I need a corner where I can do my artwork. You're gonna need a little area where you can dissect your frogs or do whatever your pre-med students do. There's so much I don't know about you. What side of the bed do you like to sleep on? Left? The right side? Well... Do you like to wake up in the morning and have cereal? Or what do you like to eat? You know, we're Are gonna, you neat? We're going to have really you... different schedules, Jesse. I mean, you're going to be working at the club all night, and I'm going to have lab work in the morning. Some days, yeah. Most days. So, so what? Whatever. Well, I was just thinking that maybe, maybe we should wait. No. Michelle, no. The timing's perfect right now. Every problem we have, we, we, we're going to work out. You're right. You're right. Now we just have to, uh, tell my family. It's a good thing it's Halloween. Could use a couple of good screams. Oh, He's out playing with the other kids in the shed. Oh. This has been crashed before he even left the house. Like, oh, like father, like son. <laughs> yeah, really. Oh, I think it's a load of you. Partner? Hey. How you doing? Nice costume. What are you, a Christmas tree? Are you starting with me already? I just got here. Well, you know, actually, you, you have something in your, your cheek there. It's, uh, it's like a little... Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Orange icing? Oh, oh, I was baking cookies with the kids in the kitchen. I think I managed to actually keep some of the batter in the bowl. 
Please. Terry, we're gonna make some popcorn. Remember you promised to help. Yeah, but I'm taking a break right now. Why don't you guys get started? I'll be in in a minute to make sure you don't go over the top with the butter. Well, it only takes a couple of minutes. Yeah, we well, gotta give the hired help a break, right? Oh, she's tough. Go she's on, tough. in in a minute. Well, when are you gonna put on your costume? I'm not. This is it. What you see is what you get. Yeah, I've um, never been very good at disguises. I'll meet in a minute. Yeah, it looks like you uh, got some friends in there. No, oh, I love kids. I always have. Frank is a big, strong man. Mm -hmm. He knows how to take care of himself. Yeah, well, that's what all you big, strong men say. But we little, weak mm -hmm. men know better. <laughs> a weak man? I'm marrying a little weak man. So, um... That's all. You wanna... Thank you. Do you wanna uh, grab a beer after we leave here? Maybe? I, I, yeah, well, I'd like to do that, but I'm going to maybe call it an early night, so we might some other time. Of course, I understand. But I would love some of your popcorn there. You got it. Pretty amazing stuff. I, mean, I really didn't feel any differently, but uh, I heard I was, well, very open to the power of suggestion. Yeah. Amazing power in that little vial. Little dab will do ya. Just makes me feel so sad that two people who love each other can't be together. Ross and Blake have shared a lot of wonderful memories in their marriage, and I just, you know, hope they can work things out. I hope things don't fall apart. I know. But you know, I'm a firm believer in love conquering all. Mm -hmm. You and I are proof of that, aren't we? Yeah. Get some candy. Hi, Hi. Hello. 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 How are you doing? Hello. Good to see you, bud. All right. Wait till you hear the news. What news? This is so great. What? Jesse just got this fabulous new place, and we're moving in together. Over my dead body. Could you give us a little privacy? Sure. Some of the things I said the other night, they were said out of fatigue. So you didn't mean them? I don't disgust you? Don't ask that. And you weren't serious then about living in a loveless house, me in one room, you in another? Did you expect, as you always do, that a night of lovemaking would solve your problems and make them all vanish? Well, I certainly didn't expect the look on your face, <clears throat> the disgust in your eyes. After what you did to me, I should be happy. Well, I'm never going to forget that look. And I'll be damned if I'm going to live with it. Or let my children live with it. This relationship is over, Ross. But if you think I'm going to hand my children over to you, you can forget it. What a mom. When the boys are old enough, they'll be proud of everything you've done. What took you so long to come running to Ben? See you in court. Yeah, it's me. Listen, we have to meet right away. No, 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 no. Anywhere but the towers. I am sick to death of all the old familiar faces. All right. That would be perfect. I'll see you. So you want my help, huh? Yes. I need a lawyer, yes. Uh-uh. No? You could have talked to any lawyer, Blake, but you came to see me. Why? Why don't you tell me the whole reason? What do you mean I don't have to cut heart out of my life? You know the situation, Sean. Oh, Cassie, I'm your friend. You know that. I, I think I've proven that I would do anything for you. Well, almost anything. But I did go along with your little secret and agree to be the father of your child. Yeah? Haven't I thanked you enough for this? No, I don't need thanks. I just need to know where we're going to go from here. And I mean the real deal, no games. This is anything but a game to me, Sean. Okay, okay, bad choice of words. But I just need to know that you have thought this thing through. Could you please just hang in there with me just for a little while longer, please? And what if I say no? Then I understand. But what, you're still not going to tell Hart that you're carrying his child? I can't tell Hart. Cassie, you can. I'm afraid, okay? I'm afraid. Is that what you want to hear? 
I'm afraid that even if I tell him, he still won't leave Dinah, okay? Can I have everyone's attention, please? Uh, yeah. Now that all of the uh, children have retired to the garden shed to look at all the beautiful decorations out there, courtesy of Mr. Jesse Blue here, they're great. Everyone should get out there to take a look at those. I want to take this opportunity to thank you all for joining Joshua and me this evening. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. I know this is a night where lost souls go to their rest, and we can all be relieved that one lost soul has finally left Springfield, <laughs> the nightmare that just keeps on giving. <laughs> and I know that I told everyone this party was not going to be about Annie Dutton, but in a way it is, because it's a going-away party for her, and it's a chance for all of us to reclaim our lives. You know, we, just, we really just want to say thank you for, uh, uh, for all your love and support. And this really is a, a night of new beginnings. Yes, Thank you. not that we're dancing on Annie's grave or anything. No, no. <laughs> no. Well, like I agree with you. I, for one, am glad that that she's gone. She was horrible to me. Ding dong, the witch is dead. <laughs> really, I mean, I know it's terrible, but it's what we're all thinking, mm -hmm. and we're not saying it. And it's Halloween, right? It is Halloween, so what better night is there for us to share our feelings with each other? <laughs> well. Annie was a terrible person. I say good riddance. And she was rotten to the core. Mm -hmm. I couldn't stand her. <laughs> well, yeah, and she's gone now, yeah. finally. No more curses, no more threats, no more sorrow. No more Annie. Ooh. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> you made it. Oh, you sound surprised. Well, I am. Well, to tell you the truth, so am I, but more surprised to see that coin. Where, where did you find it? Oh, I didn't, and neither did anyone else. It just kind of showed up here. The song? Yeah. Oh. The song? Yeah. Oh. Mm. Oh. We were Lincoln Prep thinking about nothing but just ditching our history class and being room. with the girls. Oh, man, one day we're kids in prep school, thinking about nothing except girls, cars, sits on our forehead the size of silver dollars. And now, I'm worrying about my sister shacking up with some guy. Want to hear something funny? Come on. I'm actually worried about my father. You know why? Why? Because he's mourning the passing of a woman that everyone in Springfield despised, including me. I shouldn't feel sorry for him, because he walked into it himself. But I am. I'm worried about him. You know, I want you to know that I am this close to having the life that I've dreamt about with heart. So you better not screw it up for me, Bill. I'm not the one screwing things up. But you're the one who keeps talking about all of this nonsense, so I just want you to just stop it, okay? Just stop it. Just back off. So quit doing all this crazy stuff, and I will. I have an idea. Bill, let's talk about your love life. You still carrying the old torch for Michelle? Cut it out, Dinah. What's going on? Why are you spending so much time with your sick sister when you should be hanging out with the girl you've been in love with since you were 10? <laughs> Michelle is with somebody else. So what? You have to stop me. Yeah, you know, Dinah, I gotta hand it to you. You really have a way of getting to people. It's a gift. You know what you should do? You should use some of this persistence on your little girlfriend to leave me alone. Okay. I know you love her, but you're monopolizing all my time. Hi, I'm so glad you're here. Oh, I'm good. Oh, you look a lot better. I do? Really? Yeah, you do. You feel better? Um, yeah, I feel better. I feel better, but you know what? I still, I'm still sort of stuck. I'm not able to be up and about, so I'm wondering if you could do me a really big favor. Anything. Well, heart's been just so wonderful. Such the perfect husband. So I was thinking I'd like to commemorate our wedding. And since he doesn't really have a, a ring, um, Maybe you could pick one up for me. You want me to get your wedding ring for heart? Well, yeah, but I mean, just something really simple. Nothing fancy, just a very simple ring with a, with a very simple inscription. One word. Forever. So how are you holding up? That's a good question. I think this is gonna work out. You're taking on, uh, taking on quite a load. Yeah, well, it, it's got to work out because her life depends on it, doesn't it? Sure. I mean, uh, you sure? I'm not going to go anywhere, Matt, because I can't take that risk. 
You a brave guy. Even brave guys gotta take a little time out. Nothing else will get a little work accomplished. Work? Work? Mr. I haven't done that in a while. Yeah, I know. Uh, I mean, you get a lot going on, but um, I guess that's what I'm getting at. You know, uh, Lewis Oil is handling the uh, sale of all your, your property. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's not until... Uh... Tomorrow. That's tomorrow? That's tomorrow, and if you don't sign the paperwork by tonight, then the deal may not go through. I hate to bring this on you now. I'd go get the paperwork for you myself, but it's Maureen's first. No, 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 I'll do it, I'll do it. I just, uh, I feel funny going over there, you know? I don't want to run to Cassie or anything. But she's probably taking the kids, she's probably taking the kids trick-or-treating, so it should be okay. There you go. You left me the vows you said to me on our wedding day, and I want to to remind you of what I promised you. I vow to stand by you, Annie, no matter what happens, no matter what life throws at us. I'll be by your side. I promise to fight for you and to love you. Mm. Yeah, I just, uh... What's the matter? You know, this is starting to look like a, a sick person's room. We need to, uh, we need to spruce it up a little bit. Maybe light a candle. Mm. Remember how we always used to light candles in our bedroom at night? Yes. We love that. Mm hmm I, uh... I need to run over to Lewis's. Just for a little while, I have to sign some papers that uh, Josh needs for tomorrow. Now, I, I don't want to upset you, but... No, uh, you know, um, you, you've been so wonderful. I'm going to make this whole thing easy for you. The whole thing? Yeah, the whole Cassie thing. I know you're going to go to the Lewis's and you're probably going to run into her, and I just want you to know that it's totally fine. Okay? It's really fine. I was hoping that we could have an early dinner tonight, though, and, you know, discuss some concerns that I have about my recovery. But uh, if you feel like you've got to do this now, then I, it's okay. I, 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 I understand. You go ahead. I'll, I'll, actually, I'll be fine here by myself. You sure? I'm not going to be alone. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. I'll see you in a bit. Hi. See you, though. Damn it. I want to talk about the kids and the custody suit. Hmm. Ben, you're the only lawyer that would... Take a personal interest in your case? Ben, I know I, I messed this up. I know I screwed this whole thing up, but you've always been there for me. Go on. I need your help in court. That's the reason I'm here. Really? And I'm frightened, Ben. I'm frightened. I'm scared that I'm going to lose my kids. All right? And I'm scared. I'm scared about myself. What about yourself? In the last 24 hours, I've been just reeling. My emotions are completely mixed up. My life is spinning out of control. I really need you, Ben. Well, now, don't be shy. We're way past shy, Blake. Go on and tell me. Tell me everything. You understand me. You know you do. You're the only human being that really understands me. That's true. I am. I know you better than you will ever know. I know the reason you came here, too. You expected your husband to welcome you back with open arms. But he dumped you, so you came running to me. You were hoping that good old Bensky would make you feel better, save your kids, save your life. Well, you want some lawyerly advice? Take a hike. Hit the road and don't let the door hit you on the way out. Thank you. No, 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 I'm Earl. Oh, good. Well, this is my associate, Anita Blackwell. How do you do? Well, uh, should we sit? Please, yes. 
Before we start, may I say that I am sorry that it's come to this between you and Blake. Thank you. And as you probably know, I hired you to represent me because of your expertise and paternal rights. Well, Anita and I will do our best for you, Ross. Uh, you can count on us. Our very best. I want sole custody of these kids. I want these boys living with me. I know it's going to be a fight, but I'm ready for it. Okay, well, we are prepared to do the groundwork. You just give us the green light. You have the green light. Start tomorrow if you can. First thing in the morning. Okay, well, then I will, uh... I'll file the papers for legal separation before noon. Good. Oh, wait, wait. Who's it? Oh, pass. It's not me. Well, that leaves me. I'll be right back. You don't recognize me. No. Have we met? I was one of your law students. What? Anita. Yes. Yes. Yes, good to see you again, Anita. It's very good to see you again, Ross. You know, I never had the nerve to tell you this when I was one of your students. But I can say it now. I always had a little bit of a crush on you. When you read lips, you read people's faces. And while you were defending moving in with Jesse, I could see in your eyes that you just didn't seem all that sure about moving in with him. Mm -hmm. Well, I have to admit, the idea of moving across the hall from Drew wasn't that thrilling. It just happened so fast, you know, and I know that I should be more excited about it, and it's what Jesse wants, but it's just like... Hey, if you even have one speck of doubt, then please don't do it, because he won't be happy. So many bad guys we put away, Frank? Well, let's see, we've got, uh... Let's see, eight arrests, eight convictions, and uh, eight bad guys in jail. Ooh, that's impressive. You hey, make a great team. We uh, ham and get together pretty well. Whenever I'm stuck on something, he picks up on it and takes care of it. And that's how it goes in reverse. Well, I don't know if anybody else is in the mood for a treat, but the best thing I've seen all day just walked in. Hi! It's a Um, you know what? Uh, there's something I gotta do. I gotta go out for a couple of minutes. What? Okay? Yeah. This isn't about what I said about Andy, is it? No, 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 no. It's just, it, it's something I'll tell you about later. Right? Just stay here. Have fun with your family. I'll be back in a little bit. Right? Hey, say hi. Hey. I gotta go. I'm, I'm... Josh, um, can I talk to you for a minute? Sure. I'm a little embarrassed to talk about this, but um, I, I kind of need a male perspective on something. Could we talk in private? <laughs> uh, well, what is it, uh, what is it about? It's about Frank. He's been coming on to me, um, especially tonight, and I just, I really don't know what to do. Could we talk? Uh, yeah, sure. Great. Oh, that's nice. And I will think about what you said, I promise. You do that, Cassie. You think long and hard about it. I know I'm really putting you out here. But, you know, thank you so much. Thank you. papers from Josh. It's kind of just a little party about putting the past behind you. Yeah. It's a tough thing to do. To put the past behind you, I mean. You know, walking in here and seeing you in another man's arms, that's... That kills me, Cassie. That kills me. Can I get your 
attention for a moment, please. Okay. <laughs> what? Thank you. That's what it. this party here needs, what this party here needs, <laughs> is to keep going. So, I'd like to invite everyone to Millennium. Ooh. And first round is on the house. Oh, first? What first? First and last, so, right? He's always got a bargain, right? <laughs> All right. First and last. First and last round on the house. Oh, what I got. Good 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 Maybe we can even show off our new place. Sure, sure, why not? <laughs> You're right? Yeah. Still bothering you? Yeah, no, no, everything's gonna be great. I'm sure of it. Let's Come go, on. let's be here. I wasn't the only one. At least half your female students were smitten. Me? <laughs> no, 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 no. You didn't notice? It, it just didn't occur to me. You just thought we were all naturally flushed over tort law? <laughs> <laughs> now you're embarrassed. Why? You're a very attractive man, Ross. And think back. Remember all those nights I used to ask to work late to help you with those cases? I wanted you to notice me so badly. You were so immersed in your work. I mean, you had to be. You know, I don't think I've ever seen anyone like you in court. You were so focused, so totally prepared. I mean, not to mention brilliant, charismatic, inspiring. Very kind words, and very flattering. Thank you. I know it must be incredibly rough what you're going through, but I'm sorry. Well, the only thing to do is to move forward for the boys' sake. I mean, they're the most important things to me right now. In fact, they're my whole life. But you still have to get out. Get out, enjoy yourself. And that's why I want to give you my number. I am so sorry, but there is a minor crisis at home. Oh. Yeah, so I will call you tomorrow, Ross. Yes, please do. Okay. Thank you, Jack. Right, take care. If you ever want to talk, good night, Ross. You know what, Blake? I'm tired of you graciously allowing me into your life whenever it's convenient for you, and I'm tired of hearing how complicated I've made your life. And how you have some kind of feelings for me, but they don't compare to the glorious feelings you have for Ross. And I'm tired of hearing you apologize to the world for having had a relationship with me. And I am tired of hearing how Ross changed your life and I wrecked it. Why are you doing this? Now, what is this? Some kind of uh, weird sibling syndrome you have these days? It's not one brother, then it's the other? Do me a favor, will you please, and forget my number. Don't call me again. Throw away my key. And if I ever want chicken soup again, I will call room service. At least they serve it hot. to go get a room someplace, huh? How about you wipe that look off your face and show a little respect? Your mother and I have every right to kiss. What's wrong with you? Okay, so kiss. Nobody's telling you not to. Hey, what's wrong? Not nothing. Uh, look, I'm out of here. There's a Halloween party over at uh, Millennium. Is she all right? Yeah, she's felt better, but she's okay. Okay. Hi, sweetie. Hi. Look what I brought you. Mm. Want it? Not right now. You know, I think I'm, um, I feel good, but I'm just feeling really kind of tired with all the company that I've been having, so I think I just want to go to sleep. You want us to go? Yeah, I'll see you in the morning. I don't want to leave you alone. No, oh, I'll be fine. You know what? Hart's going to be back any minute, and um, I want to spend some time alone with my husband. Are you sure that you don't mind being alone? I'm positive. I'll be fine. He's going to be back soon, so... Okay. Rest, right? And I'm going to put this right here. Okay. Just Kids great. get hungry. Thank you. Stop it, honestly. <laughs> it's my fruit. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Love you. Love you, too. show her that it was not right for him to leave me alone. It was not right for him to do that at all. He 
you know, accidents happen so easily, especially in the home. somehow come back to me. I had so many things to say to you, but... Of all those things, goodbye was not one of them. Okay, you've caused enough trouble. No, that's the whole point. I haven't done anything, and neither has Cassie, except to protect you. What are you talking about? You just listen to me, Jessup. There's something that you should know. Cassie's not going to tell you, so I am. Hey, you gave Frank a No, I a didn't truth drug. give Frank a truth drug. A doctor did. And I got to tell him something. You'll really like it. What did you tell him? Well, while he was under, I told him that he would have this incredible urge when he woke up to call you in Greece. And sure enough, when he woke up, he ran to the telephone. And that's why you called me? <laughs> well, uh, that and the fact that I missed you so much. Oh, I'm better. <laughs> He touched you? What What does that mean? He would make sure that we were alone, and he would put his hands on me, on my body. You know, that just doesn't sound like Frank Cooper. I, um... I'll talk to him. No, right? no, I can handle it. I just... I just wanted to know that I could talk to you from time to time. Because I... I really respect your friendship. Um, I, I think uh, we'd better get back to the party. What's that on your neck? What, what is it? I don't, I don't know. It looked like a bug or something. I guess it's gone. <laughs> your hands are so cold. Well, you know what they say. Cold hands warm heart. Sit down. No, I think we better get... I said, sit down, Josh.